Mayor Weisker, let's keep, I'm sorry, um, Ms. Lieber has not had a chance to ask a question all night, so I'm gonna, I want to let her uh, go to it. Mr. Carl, thank you for coming. Thank you for your presentation. Um, you were talking earlier about the stars aligning and, and things falling in place. And also, you were very candid with us about uh, your biggest concerns being the political environment. And good golly, it's October of a municipal election season, so I appreciate that candor. I just want to pledge to you, I'm not up for re-election. I have no political agenda, and I will give you my full support. Thank you for that. Um, should we take roll call? <laughs> I'm more than happy to. Um, we may now, if we don't go that quickly, we may have to do a, a motion to extend the meeting. Um, but uh, Mr. Osborne's been trying to get a question out here for a bit. Project wise, what do you see as far as the timeline? If you start breaking ground, say in March of next year, what do you envision? We broke ground on Milford, which is 110 units, in, uh, on October 2nd, 2012. We got our first certificate of occupancies this week. So construction has been almost exactly a year. Uh, I expect that construction on this will be relatively similar. So much depends upon weather. I mean, you know, weather, weather is an enormous factor. Uh, the reason I'm um, uh, more aggressive than I probably should be with respect to asking for the development agreement to be signed is because there's a lot of work to be done between today and the spring of 2014. A tremendous amount of design and engineering and, 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 and due diligence. Um, so listen, today, tomorrow, next week, two weeks, uh, none of those are deal breakers, but the sooner we get this development agreement behind us, the sooner I am prepared to start spending some significant money on due diligence so that I can make that, that spring of 2014. If we miss 2014, spring, summer, uh, you know, you really don't want to break ground in the fall or winter. So, so then we go into a whole nother year. So that's the reason. You know, this is much like the planting season. You know, if you miss the season, you miss the season. So um, I, I'm glad you asked the question, and I hope that answers it. Uh, Mayor Weisker, I think you had a question. I did. Um, with regards to the due diligence period, this is really kind of a two kind of questions related. So during the due diligence period, one of the activities, as I, uh, based on my, as I understand it, and this is a role that you will be performing, and, and so correct me if I'm wrong, is that you are assuring that the product you're going to deliver is market driven. And then the second part of it is how do you see that communication plan during the due diligence period with council, whether it's at CAC or a city council meeting? We're, we're prepared to meet as frequently as need be with, with, with council or planning and zoning. Um, we really do believe that this is a bit of a, 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 a you know, the beginning of the partnership in, in, in trying to design this. You know, we'll work very, very closely with staff. And uh, you know, as we get to the design stage, and we're also talking about the idea of, 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 of getting some feedback from, from Council and planning and zoning through the process uh, to make sure that, that we're on the right direction uh, and, and, and include um, you know, the community, if you will, in that process.